say Randy, then I get both your attentions. I don't have to uh, use two names. <laughs> so show me your Duncan loop system you got here. Well, what I have here is tie all my leaders at home and they have a Duncan loop on them, right? So when I'm out here fishing, my hands are cold. I don't have to try to tie a knot. I make my own swivels at home that have an open end to them. I just loop it and pull it tight. Good to go. Ready to fish. I made the net. Oh, we need the fire the motor. Okay. Just swam right at the boat. See a fin? Is it a hatchery? It's like a hatchery. Here you go. Ready? Okay, hold on to that. Got him. Got him. I'm going to put that on your way. <laughs> okay, so how many trips is it now that you haven't been skunked? 52. 52. <laughs> We're going to do the math on that from the last one. Right. <laughs> nice so you hit the top bead here, right? Yeah, Just fell off? Yeah, I hit killer row, yep. Killer row, yep. Brand new, baby. So that's what, a pink with an orange coating? It's a, it's the killer row finish over a white bead. Over a white bead? Yeah, nice. yeah it looks pink. We'll take care of this guy. Nice hatchery fish. Bit on the killer row. Incognito. Killer row incognito. Almost too close here. Hang on. There you go. fish on the killer row incognito. Let's take a look at that. That's the uh, orange coating on a white bead, you said? Yep. Nice. So Randy. Yes, sir. How long have you been selling beads? We started, we started lured in, what was it? It's been 2000, 2013, right? Yeah, 2013. So we've been a little over 10 years now. So, um, we started with hard beads, then uh, it evolved to my hybrid incognitos where I took the hard bead and put in a soft, shove, soft shell cover over it to give it uh, an equal neutral buoyant balance. So the, I've actually, the flotation in the outside shell to the weight of the bead, I've tried to balance that out to give it that perfectly neutral swirl and, and drop like a real egg. And plus it gives it a, a 3D kick. You get the UV from the bead plus the UV from the outside shell. So it's kind of a double UV pop. And uh, it just kind of creates that perfect embryo movement of a real egg. And uh, about the same drop rate as a real egg too. Um, you know, it's being neutral buoyant. As a guide and avid fisherman, I wanted to see... Uh, you know, the, the downtime of soft beads when you're constantly fixing your beads, you know, as a guide, I'd rather have them cast a hard bead or like the incognito because they're constantly fishing. You don't have a client messing with the bead after they set the hook, they got to come in and check it. So that one cast could be the difference that they missed, you know, because they were fixing their bead. It could add up to that fish for the day. It really does. I mean, down to, you know, the more you're in the water, the more opportunity you're going to catch a fish, so it, it can be a it can be a game changer some days, you know, and the, depending on <clears throat> your clientele and you know making that perfect cast. If you only got one shot, especially in a drift boat, you know, because we sometimes you're like, hey, can you try to hit that spot right there? And you know, if you had a hard beat on, you probably would have got bit, you know, if that was the spot, you know. So that's kind of what I came up with. Broke here. Proud sponsor of, of Lure. That's the gel? That's the gel. It sticks to your your beads better than a oil will. And thus you can take the oils 
and put them in a bag, and the incognitos will absorb them. Then you're you're golden for the day. So do you do different uh, different size beads and different size coatings of soft plastics too? That's what you're talking about with the halo. Yeah, the halo. The halo is so it's more soft plastic. Yeah, the incognito series. There's the regular incognitos, which um, has a little bit bigger bead inside, a little less soft soft outside shell. Okay. The halo series is a smaller bead to give a bigger profile on the outside of the contrasting bead inside. So it creates a shadow. That's the whole point of the beads inside is to create a shadow. Plus, unlike regular soft, like regular soft beads, you, you can slide over your stock. The incognito series, regular series or halo, will not slide past that bead stock because of the hard bead inside. Yeah. And so it, it, it's got the fishability of a hard bead, but it's got a soft cover. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with the Incognito series. Um, you know, does it um, does it make them better than anything else? No, it's just different. It fishes different. So it's just another option on the market and they are fishy as hell. Nice big hatchery buck. Spot here. I'm gonna have you bring over to the left a little bit, and then we're gonna just turn slightly. Try to. Well, that top bead. Yeah, right. He's a big, big boy. Oh, huh? yeah. Got a nice beach right here, guys. Another one on the killer row. Let's get yeah. a look at it in the water there. Yeah, you can really kind of see the... Wait, incognito. Neutral boy. The boy when that guy came in, he was a big dog. You get to see that. How it's on his jaw. Yeah. Randy's. Randy's. <laughs> Randy today. squared. Randy and Randy. I'm Keeps it easy. Hey, cast over there, Randy. Hey, if, uh... Yet another... On the killer row. Still had small. So, Randy, one thing I noticed uh, while we're fishing here is all three of us are fishing the same kind of incognito beads but we all three have methods of stops. So I've got a little silicone bobber stop there. It stops the bead. Yep. And then you have... I have the, the clear three mil acrylic inline bead that we tie in, like on my website. It has them on the, there's a video on my website of how to tie that in line. It's 100% line strength too. But it, it, you know, it stops that incognito and you don't have any slippage down to your hair. Uh, it prevents any slippage. You, your beak cannot slide down to your hook. So that's one, that's one, uh, that's one thing about it is it, it locks it in place so you can't get a, get your bead in front of your hook. It will not slide down on a fish bite. That's, and you sell those on your website? Yeah, the little three mil in line. I have four mil too. They're, uh, clear acrylics so uh and the holes are rounded so they're not and you sharp. sell the, the uh rubber stops too yep yeah they're the ultimate stops is what i call them they're uh they're designed to fit on like they're rated down to like three pound test and that's i think that's what yeah, i've got that's here exactly right what you got. Yeah, that's and then I'm matt talking. over here is doing his method he does for all his beads the nail knot and uh we have a video of you on the salmon trout Still had her website of how you do this knot. Matt, I yep. look that one what up. Pound test is that, That's 40 pounds, and it's the bottom of the shelf. Yeah. Lake and stream. Lake and stream. Another <laughs> good one is Golden Gate. You know, stuff. stuff the you cheaper, the better, almost. Store, and it's right there on the bottom. Find the cheapest, most. Uh, the stuff is super stiff. 
and to keep it dry is kind of key when you tie it so it grabs the fluorocarbon and then uh you know it's just that's how i do it so there we go we got all three different methods of pegging the bead on the line for the exact same kind of bead the incognito so there's definitely more than one way to do it yeah. for proven fish catchers certain ones allow ease of rigging up the ultimate stops is probably the easiest to put on and you always want to wet your line when you slide the rubber stops down so it keeps the same and that's strength, this one right here keeps the same strength of uh i guess you could sell the grippiness you know or how tight they are yeah. it keeps that strength all the way down but you want to yeah and i do this uh peg knot just below it that keeps it from sliding down to the hook and if it slides it'll stop at that knot and you know, one thing i've noticed is uh if you're fishing the silicone uh sliding what do you call the ultimate stops? yeah they're the ultimate rubber stops the ultimate rubber stops um they will slide down to the hook if you don't put that knot in the line um the nail knot that matt is doing will slide down to the hook if it's wedged into rocks and yeah. is definitely gonna stay in place no matter yeah. what yeah. and i think that their one benefit to that is it's not gonna slide down in a fish's mouth right that's never gonna happen you know, and you know, the, everybody has a different level of what is easy for them, and all three are going to get you fishing and catching fish. Another, another on the killer row. They're getting smaller. They are getting smaller. This is even smaller than the last smolt. That might be a cutthroat. Yep, yeah, that one's a cutty. Later, dude. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple fish early and then the weather got really nice, but not so nice for catching more fish. So it was a good day all together either, either way. It's productive. Good morning. Got, got some good R&D in, you know, a lot of new stuff coming out. We fished at least eight more incognitos that are not on the website, so. He's got a lot more stuff coming out and oops. We got some new colors on the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So right on. They they caught fish, so huh? check them out. Yeah, appreciate it guys. Thanks for coming out, Matt. Yeah. Matt Hill, thanks, thanks for taking us. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Right on. It was easy just saying Randy all day and <laughs> yeah. I had instantly had both. Randy, of cast things. over there. Yeah. Randy do this. And then <laughs> Exactly. It Matt, was easy. Matt Health's guide service, if you guys are looking for a good trip. Um, if you're looking for some product, uh, lewardbythebead.com is our website. And uh, other than that, you guys, tight lines. All right. Thank you.